You're watching Less Than Epic's coverage of the Overwatch League. Enjoy the show. Hello, Scrubs. This is your pal, Nova Punk X, coming at you with a brand new series from Less Than Epic. As you may know, if you watched our latest Over a Beer, the LTE team kind of likes Overwatch League. So this series is something new we cooked up based on our experience with other professional sports and it's called Power Rankings. For those unfamiliar, Power Rankings are a way of ranking professional sports teams based off performance, not necessarily win-loss. A panel will rate all the teams in the league and average their results each week to give us our ratings. Our panel of judges is small, but we look forward to creating the best damn Power Rankings on YouTube. Please talk to us in the comments below and let us know where we went right and wrong. All right, Scrubs, I'm going to start from last place and head up to first place. Yes, I know you all hate me now. Coming in at number 12 is Florida Mayhem. This is the only Overwatch League team that has only six players. It's a good goddamn thing we don't have injuries yet, right? This is the former Misfits squad who added no depth when they created the team for Overwatch League. So far, they did take one map win from a very good London team, but got shut out by Boston. Luckily for them, they have a matchup with the second worst team on this list next week, as we have the Battle of the Baddies. Coming in at number 11, somehow beating the Florida Mayhem, is the Shanghai Dragons. This is honestly not a very good team. This team comes from China where esports dominate, but for some reason this team just does not have the Overwatch talent to match the other teams. Not even close. This team has won one map so far in week one. Hopefully they can regroup and get better in week two when they play Houston and then Battle of the Baddies in game two versus Florida. And on to number 10, we have the Houston Outlaws. They climbed to number 10 on this list, but just barely. However, this team did win three maps this week. We saw much worse performances, but this team still wasn't great. They also dropped all of their preseason games. Constant swaps didn't help them any, and this schedule isn't any easier, as they are taking on the London Spitfire and the Boston Uprising in Week 2. Team number 9 coming at us is the San Francisco Shock. This is the first team on our list with a win. However, that win was versus the Dragons, who are quite a few spots slower. But a win is a win at this point. This team is aiming for great things, but just hasn't clicked yet. On to number 8, the Dallas Fuel, who is 0-2 for sure. But everybody at LTE feels like this team is better than their record shows. We all ranked them around the 8th spot this week because we feel like they can start to overcome these losses. And starting off this week, they have a great matchup versus the Outlaws, which should help them feel really good about getting a win. But then they move on to the London Spitfire. Do you think they can pull an upset and move up the rankings next week? Tune in and check it out and see what happens. Number 7 is a tough cookie for us to crack. This team did not appear in any preseason at all and came out with a strong 3-2 win over the lowly Houston Outlaws only to get snapped back into reality with an 0-4 loss to the London Spitfire. Yes, this is Philadelphia Fusion. This team has a ton of great talent though and should be able to move up the rankings in the coming weeks. This week they faced San Francisco Shock and the LA Gladiators. This team is a team to keep an eye on. The team sitting dead middle of this list at number 6 is my favorite, Boston Uprising. Yes, boys and girls, I tried to push them up the list, but Ratted and Kinky kept pushing them back down. Well, in all honesty, I ranked them at 5, but they fell a spot from the other guys' rankings. Still, I feel like a decent spot for a team that was thought to be not very good this season. They took a great win in Map 1 versus New York XL but ended up falling in the next three maps, even though there were some close maps in there. However, this team turned it around and blew Florida Mayhem out of the water with a 4-0 win. This team is looking great and has one of the best dive comps in the league. 
They also have a great DPS player in Dree Capser, who played a mean Roadhog and played a total of eight characters last week. Looking ahead, they will face a sad-looking Soul team and a San Francisco Shock team that is trying to prove itself. These games should be great. As we break into the top half of our list, number five will be the LA Gladiators. This team features a great support character in Shaz who played a mean Zenyatta. We look, are looking forward to a tougher competition for this team to see where they really fit in since they played one of the worst teams and one of the best last week. And they got stomped and they blew out the bad team. I think they will end up staying around this area for a few more weeks though. With their high support play they could easily start moving upwards towards the end of the season and into the playoffs. Number 4 on the LTE Power Rankings are the New York XL. This team has some amazing players that flex in for certain maps and rounds. Yes, I'm looking at you, Pine. This guy is one of the world's best McCrees and was in full force this week on Elios, where he single-handedly carried the DPS. That kill on the Tracer was freaking insane. Couple that with a Jejonok play on Zen, who was out damaging DPS players on the other team and you have a very very scary comp number four might be a tad low for this team but all three of the lte crew place them at exactly number four on this week's ratings on to the top three and we have some pretty epic teams in week one the top three teams this week were separated by one point each after adding all three votes let's start it off at number three with Soul Dynasty. This team might be carried by the league MVP in Fleta, who was showcasing a amazing widow. And when I say amazing, I mean freaking sick. Go look at those VODs. This team is built around an all Korean roster and was built from the Lunatech High team, who was lacking in DPS but was very good in support and tank mains. Now, with the addition of Fleta, we are looking at a very scary team. This team will start the week off with easy pickings in Florida and then move on to a middle of the pack Boston team. Come on, Boston. You can do it with only two teams remaining Spitfire and Valiant. Which one will land at number one? Well, at number two first, we have Spitfire. Sorry, Kinky and Ratted, but your team did not make number one this week. However, do not feel bad because this team is stacked, and I mean stacked to the brim with the DPS. What brings me to this, you might ask? Well, they had Rascal and Hurig, two of the top 10 DPS in the world, sitting on their bench for the first round. Couple that with Prophet and Birdring, who are a fearsome DPS duo in their own right, and you may be looking at the best DPS lineup in this league. However, they have sputtered at times and dropped a map to a lowly ranked Florida team last week. This week they will take on Dallas and the best team in the league in the LA Valiant, with what should be an amazing matchup. And that leaves LA Valiant at the top spot on our list this week. Congratulations, guys. This is the only team, yes, the only team on our list that has not suffered a map defeat yet. However, they did suffer a tie on a crazy 5v5 on Horizon versus the Dallas Fuel that lasted almost 30 minutes. Yes, that means they each capped their points five times. Whew. Valiant has maybe the second best widow in the league in Fleta at the moment and is looking poised to keep pushing into the playoffs. I expect some movement in the top three in the coming weeks, but this LA team is no joke. LA gets to match up with a New York team that didn't look good last week and a very tough matchup to look out for in London. This could be the battle for first place in this list next week. Thanks everyone for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this, and we will continue this series every Monday throughout the Overwatch League season. Please comment below with your picks, and let us know where we went wrong. We look forward to talking with you, and as always, get good scrubs. This is Novapunk X, signing out. If you like our coverage of the Overwatch League, let us know by liking and subscribing. And if you didn't, let us know why in the comments below. Maybe we can make it better. Thanks for watching, everyone.